Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. For today's project, I have taken one meter silk embroidered fabric. It has this beautiful floral embroidery all over and three meter plain silk fabric. And this is a measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. And also if you haven't subscribed our channel yet then please hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon to get the new video notification. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Firstly I'll cut the bodies. This is the whole length of fabric. I folded it twice in width. So I have four layers of fabric. I've left out this plain fabric. In my measurement body's length is 14 inch. I'll add 1.5 inch for seam allowance. So I'll mark a point at 15.5 inch. Now I'll cut it out and this leftover piece will be sleeves. So I've cut out the bodies. Now firstly I'll cut the front. I have folded it by half in width. Now I'll mark the measurements. For shoulder take half of shoulder width. In my measurement shoulder width is 13.5 inch. So half of it is 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point, mark half of armhole round that is 7 inch in my measurement. If you are making sleeveless dress, then deduct half inch from the armhole. I'll extend this point. Mark 1 inch inwards. And again join it to the shoulder slope point. Now from the top, I'll mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to burst point. Extend these points. Now I'll mark the round measurements. For chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest round is 31 inch. 31 plus 2 is 33. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.25 inch. For burst, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst round is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is 28 inch. 28 plus 2 is 30. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.5 inch. Now I'll join these points. Give slight curve to this pointed shape. Adding around 1 inch of seam allowance. Now I'll draw front and back armhole curves. So this is a marking for front. Now I'll cut it. So I've cut the front. Now I'll cut the back. So this is for back. Again, I have folded the fabric. 
Always keep the print direction in mind while folding the fabric. Now from the unfold side, I leave around half inch of seam allowance. Mark the same point till bottom. Join these points. The seam allowance is for back zipper. I'm going to add this concealer zipper on the back. Now place the front, taking this line as center. Now I'll cut it. Cut the back from the center as well. Now I'll cut the front arm will go off. So this is front bodies and this is back bodies. So I've cut the bodies, now I'll cut the sleeves. So this is the leftover piece and I've folded it twice in width. So I have four layers of fabric. Now I'll mark the measurements. In my measurement sleeve length is 12 inch, I'll add 1.5 inch for seam allowance. So this is around 13.5 inch of fabric. From the top mark a point at 3.5 inch, this is cap height. Cap width or armhole width will be chest round divided by 4 minus 1 inch. In my measurement, chest round is 32 inch, 32 divided by 4 is 8 and 8 minus 1 is 7. So I'll mark a point at 7 inch. Join these points. Now measure this line and divide it into 3 parts. This is around 8 inch. So I'll mark a point at 2.6 inch twice. From this point mark half inch upwards and from this point mark half inch upwards and 0.25 inch downwards. Now I'll draw front and back armhole curves. Now mark half of sleeve round. In my measurement sleeve round is 11.5 inch. So half of it is 5.75 inch. Now join these points with the curve ruler to give slight shape. Adding seam allowance. So this is a marking for sleeves. Now I'll cut it. Now take top two layers to cut the front armhole curve. So I've cut the sleeves, now I'll cut the bottom. For bottom, earlier I have planned to make half circle skirt but fabric width is not enough for required length. So now I'm just making box pleat bottom in my measurement waist round is 28 inch 
and I'm adding 2 inch of ease you need to add same ease as you added in bodies 28 plus 2 is 30 so waist round is 30 inch next is pleat size I'm taking it 3 inch you can make it less or more as per your choice so waist round is 30 and pleat size is 3 now for number of pleats you need to divide waist round by pleat size so 30 divided by 3 is 10 that means I need to make 10 pleats 5 for front and 5 for back width of fabric is 44 inch I folded it by half for ready 3 inch pleat we need 6 inch of fabric I leave 2 inch for seam allowance I'll mark a point at 6 inch and 3 inch Hatch the points like this So this is one pleat so I've added another pleat this is just to give you an idea for box pleat bottom we just need a rectangular piece of fabric no cutting is required we just add pleats according to the waist round and because of pleats you will get enough volume for the bottom so with this Cutting of my dress is completed. I'll share it stitching in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.